Um, introduce yourself, please. I'm Angela White. Angela, are you of the age of 18? Yes. Perfect. Um, so let's talk first about safe words that we use around here, since in case anyone didn't know, this is your first time yes. here. Um, if you want everything to completely stop and for someone to check in with you, you would say red. Yes. If you have a gag or anything in your mouth that prevents you from speaking, you would look into the camera and shake your head and say, uh, uh, uh. And that's kind of just so we can kind of, we know what's going on. Both of those break character, looking at the camera, everything's going to stop and we'll have a conversation. Okay. If you're okay to stay in the bondage and stay in character, but just, if you want to let me know to back down a little bit from whatever I'm doing, you can say yellow. So it's mm -hmm. like basically red stops, yellow slows down. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Hard limits. There's, let's see, do we have hard? There's a few things on here, but we're gonna kind of go through this since this is your first time working with me. Um, so bondage, you 100% down for, not a lot of experience, but you did do, you worked with uh, Tabitha. Yeah. I'm kind of using, <laughs> I'm like, should we say that? No, it's okay to say. Um, so for the clamps, you have nipples and labia circle. Is like, that, yes. Those are okay, yes. all right. I can't remember what else was on that list, but I was definitely okay it, with it, Some of those are on there but just because of me, like the nose and the eyes. It's this guy. Okay. I put clothespins around here and I put them on the septum and like I'm... I mean, I feel like I could probably do... Will you put them on the eyebrows? It hurts your feelings. It's it's really uncomfortable. Like it's, oh. a, it's there's pains that, are, that can happen that you're going to be like, for starters, who the fuck thought of this? And secondly, why does my brain <sighs> act this way now that this weird pain's happening? So... We'll experiment with some things. I feel like but, I'm going to learn a lot about you through this process. Or yourself. Maybe but, a little Well, more. I already know I'm going to learn a lot about me, <laughs> but I feel like I'm going to learn about you in your mind. I was going to say, I'm a twisted fucker <laughs> when it comes to this stuff. So, <clears throat> um, so flogging, you're down for uh, kind of everything. Basically everything. So you kind of will have to go maybe a little bit easier on the, on the breasts. Right. Because they'll bruise really easily. But, I mean, you can still... Logging we'll play it by ear and see, kind of, we'll kind of see, because I know that was one of the conditions of us, why we're shooting you now, is because the holidays are right around the corner. Yes. I don't think this is going to come out until like next year, but we're right before Christmas, like a week before Christmas, and you bruise really easy, so we can't yes. have you fucked up because you work a lot. Exactly. Although you are, congratulations, you're hosting again. Again, thank you. That's yeah, really, really awesome. Exciting. Um, gags, jaw pain, we'll play this. Yeah, so I, I apparently... Someone told me that if you use the, the gags with the holes in it, that it's, that makes it easier, or smaller gags. The I've, ones. Yeah, I've used ones before that, like, even after 10 minutes, like, it, it's actually painful, but not in a good pain way. Like, I Right, do you have, like, TMJ? Does it feel, like, really stiff and sometimes, like, click back there or pop? Yes. Yeah, yeah. it's TMJ. Yeah. Which is, could usually be fixed with your back. Okay. Usually with having, like if your back, not, it's, we'll talk about it off camera, but that's sometimes that can help alleviate the TMJ, but we'll be careful with the uh, gags and kind of. Well, I know I carry a lot of stress in the muscles in the front of my neck as well, so I don't know clenching. if that's, pull yeah, I'm clenching, so yeah. that's, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy to do ball gags, but know that I might not do them for an extended period or okay. maybe smaller. I'm kind of, what well, doesn't really matter, like I've done shoots and I never used one and I've done shoots where that, she stayed in it the whole day, so it okay. just kind of depends. Um, no hair bondage of any kind. Um, um, if the opportunity arises, we'll do anal, and if it doesn't, then we don't. Okay. That's simple. Um, we're going to go for no marks today, even though it's probably some of it's going to happen because I've been warned, and you, like you said, you brew super easy. Yeah. Um, and everything else is kind of just this um, humiliation. Humiliation. The yeah, that, those are stuff, it's tough because I don't I don't know like what whether I'm gonna because I know I like psychological domination like I know I like to I like someone to be mean to me and then but then be really nice to me and kind of fuck with me like that right. so humiliation might be used in that but I don't it's just, so and it, it kind of depends I had a girl I just I'll make this a brief story so I won't spend the whole time talking about it but there was a girl years years ago who came in as like do your damnedest. I don't give a fuck what you say to me. You can say whatever you want. I don't care. And we did a scenario where her rich husband brought her to us for us to work things out. Mm -hmm. And we referred to her as just a paycheck. And it broke her heart. Oh. It tore. We called her slut whore, cunt, whatever, all day long. But calling her a paycheck broke her heart. Oh. We were like, oh my God, are you okay? She's like, I didn't even know. We're like... Like hugging her in the middle of the set, like, it's okay, it's okay. So it's kind of, you never know what words. Yeah. So knowing, I mean, obviously I see the list that you have here. Well, like, for example, I'm fine with being called a slut. I don't like being called a whore, but it won't traumatize me. If you call me a whore, I'll just be like, mm. Okay, so a whore slips. 
Uh, yeah, if you you will not traumatize me if you call me a whore. Okay. I just I don't get off on like if you you can call me a slut and I'll get off on it. If you call me a whore for some reason, I'm just like. Hmm. I fluctuate. I kind of tend more lately. I think it's probably little girl. That's I like that. I do little girl a lot because it kind of plays into a lot of the girls that are like you, where it's like. I'm down for this, but then I need a little add a girl at yes. the end. So calling you little girl is like, okay, he's happy with me. Yes. So and then basically the only time is if I deal with brats and they're and then I'm like, you little bitch, or you fucking whore, or you slut or something. But it's usually or every once in a while cunt. But cunt the, doesn't. I'm Australian. We use that just. <laughs> one of my favorite words in the world. <laughs> you can call me cunt all you want. That's we call our friends cunts, so it's so fine. I call my wife cunt, <laughs> and she calls me one. So, um, all righty, so. I think we got all that. If anything arises today, if I come out and do something, then you're like, wow, I thought I was okay with that, but fuck him, I don't want it to happen again. Just right then, you can stop it and we won't do it. And if I want you to go harder, which, you know, I'm going to be timid at the start, I'm sure that you're going to try and push my limits anyway. So, right. but if I am like, I can take a lot more. Should if I? If you want more, you can ask for it. Okay. I am not the Dom who is intimidated or threatened because someone says that I'm not doing it hard enough or like, I don't want that shit happen. I don't, a lot of guys are like, oh, but I'm being as mean as I can be. I don't give a shit. If you want it harder and I'm not giving it to you, fucking ask for it. Okay. I'm not, I mean, I, I doubt that will happen. I just right. was curious about. Well, we're going to take our time. We're going to build up to it. So know that every, like we're going to start with me kind of feeling you out and then we'll, as the day goes on, we'll get a little more aggressive and we'll kind of get, yeah. the idea is to get you to a point where I push you right up to that edge, but never push you over it. Yeah. I want to kind of keep you balancing on that edge throughout the day, whether it's orgasms or pain or mind fuckery or whatever it is. I like that. Good. Um, oh. oh, that's about 10 minutes. <clears throat> So one of the things that we have to talk about is the, uh, the policy on crying. Okay. If we get to a point, I never set out to make someone cry, but you never know. And we've actually, we've already talked off camera. So there's probably a possibility it's going to happen today. Yeah. Um, the shoot rules state that if you start to cry, which is a tear breaking, running down your cheek, I stop, I break character. I go back to being the nice JP. I wipe your tear and I ask if you can continue. Yes. If you say that you can continue and everyone crew included can look at you and say, well, this, this is consensual. She's just letting it out. Yeah. We're going to go back to what we were doing. I'll go back to whatever it started the crying and we'll just continue throughout the day. That'll be the only time I break character. I'll still yeah. check on you, but instead of going, are you okay? It'll be you all right, little girl, or it'll be whatever yeah. the big asshole would say rather than me being the nice JP. Well, I'm, I could cry right now. I could just cry from anticipation. So I'm sure that very early on I will cry and we will We'll okay. That and then but is that okay with you if we run yes. like that? Okay. Yes. I would, I'm, I'm, I, crying is a release for me and I, I would love to get to a point where you make me cry. So okay. that's, I'm cool with your policy. Good. Um, so with all of that being said, well, oh. <laughs> I'm crying right now. <laughs> Chris is like, get the goddamn interview over with. Okay. With all that being said, just go <clears> there, JP, and action. So with all that being said, welcome to Hogtide. Thank you. Um, you, for starters, um, your agent called me and was like, JP, you have been requested. There's no two ways about it. You, and as soon, of course, I mean, who's going to tell you no anyway, but like, he was like, you, she, you know, she asked you, but like we talked about earlier, it's, you have to wait till the holidays. So she has some time off because she bruises super easy and we need for you to heal up. Um, <clears throat> what we're going to do today is we'll go through a variety of different positions. The kind of rule of thumb that I have is that the position seems very comfortable and easy. You are probably pretty sure that I'm going to do more torture. Okay. Whereas if the bondage is really stressful and hard, depending on what level it is, there may be times I come in and slap you twice and then make you come just to get you through the scene. Okay. And I usually try and go into it saying, hey, this is the one that I think is going to be really difficult. And then there's days where there's nothing that difficult. And then there's, I, I, it kind of depends. I'm a very kind of fluid off the cuff. Like at this point, stand, like where we're at right now, I know that I'm going to stand you up for the first position. That's all I know. Okay. That's about as far as I've gotten. Because I kind of, I do this to get to know you and then we'll kind of just play it by ear as far as like what makes you purr, what makes you squeal, kind of, and find the good fun. Um, so with all that said, what is it that attracted you to this kind of shoot? Why did you want to come do this? 
That's a really hard question. It's hard, sometimes it's hard to verbalize what your desires are. Like you just, you have a desire to do something and you don't exactly know why. Right. I guess um, I, I had been suspended before and I really enjoyed that experience. Um, I had heard a lot about you and like every, every girl that works with you is just basically in love with you. So I know this is true. <laughs> it's true. They're enamored by you. And so I know that you obviously fuck with them in a way that gets in their, in their minds. Right. In a way that, you know, it really um, resonates with them. Um, I think what you do is beautiful. Just aesthetically, it's beautiful. So I, I guess it's, it's not just, there's no one reason why I want to do it. It's a multitude of reasons. Okay. And, and the reason that I'm in the porn industry to begin with, what, the reason I entered the industry was because I wanted to explore my sexuality, and I right. wanna, I wanna find out what I, what all my likes and dislikes are, and that's why, like, filling out that survey was so difficult for me because I'm like, I don't know exactly what I want yet. I don't right. know, I don't know if I want this. I want to try this because maybe I'm gonna love it or maybe I'm gonna hate it, but I, I wanna, I wanna know the limits of my body and I wanna know what really gets me off. Right. So it's part of my exploration. Best answer I've heard in a long time. That's a really good answer. Now I'm like, shit, what do I say now? Um, alrighty. I mean, fuck, like I said, that was, that was like the perfect answer. You summed it all up. Um, um, you got any questions for me? No. You want to I don't think so. I just, yeah, I'm, I'm excited and nervous to get started. Okay. So. I am a little bit too, because you've come so highly. They're like, this is this girl, and she's like the shit. And I'm like, oh, fuck. So, no, I'm going to be your little girl so quickly. I'm going to be crying. I'm going to be just wanting to serve you, so don't. Now you're just flirting with me. <laughs> no, I'm, like, I'm just being honest. <laughs> um, all right, then we're going to get started. Um, remember that no matter what role we're playing today, at the end of the day, you're the one that's in charge. Okay. You're the one who you say stop, it's done. We're done. I don't give a fuck if we're two thirds of the way and you're like, I just don't, I, not, I can't do this anymore. It's entirely, not to say that you will, because no. you're very enthusiastic about this. But you are in control of everything today, and I want you to like, especially with this being our first time working together, that that's the, that's the case. I mean, we play the I'm the dominant, I'm doing these big, you say no, it's no, we stop. So if a safe word's there, if you feel at any point that you feel like you need to use it, let it be empowering and use it, and don't be afraid that it's a sign of weakness or you're tapping out, because that's not what it is. Okay. Um, so with that, I say have a good shoot, and we'll Thank talk you. to you afterwards. Yep. Are your fans, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm just like, uh, I'm sweating. <laughs>